The bill would have put an abuser behind bars for at least two months if they'd been convicted of assaulting a family member multiple times within a decade. While this legislation had support on both sides of the aisle, some point out that justice doesn't always look the same for all survivors and their attackers. I didn't need him to sit in jail. I needed him to get help. A survivor of domestic violence, Carol Olson, left a bad marriage nearly 20 years ago. I needed help and I got help. I didn't. I needed him to get help. I wanted him to get help. Now she advocates for survivors of domestic violence and assault at a shelter called the James House. She says each person who comes there has a different story. And not every survivor looks at it or seeks justice in the same way. Governor Ralph Northam vetoed a bill that would require judges to sentence people convicted of assaulting a family member or a loved one to at least two months behind bars if they were guilty of doing it multiple times within a decade. The governor said imposing mandatory minimum sentences eliminates a judge's discretion. Other lawmakers upset by the decision said the survivors of abuse and Virginians as a whole deserve better. It's a complicated issue. Some lawmakers say changing this law could discourage survivors from coming forward out of fear for putting a loved one in jail. Olson points out everyone in an abusive relationship needs to heal to break the cycle of violence. So having just a cookie cutter approach isn't going to fit every survivor. If you or a loved one need help or if you're just looking for some resources, up on your screen right now is the number for a statewide hotline that people can call if they know someone that is dealing with domestic violence. And if you can't catch it right now, just click on this story on our website later on. I'll be sure to have a link to this as well. For now, reporting in Richmond, I'm Sarah McCluskey.